I like to uh, joke to people. Um, it's a joke that may not translate very well to non-English, non-native English speakers. But I like to say that we're much more than just a hippie school in the jungle. Um, but at the heart of it all, we are, in fact, a hippie school in the jungle. We had an Australian <laughs> dowser who came here. A guy lives in Upwood, and uh, he came and found our water wells for us using uh, copper uh, divining rods. And in this space here, he found a lot of magnetic energy lines converging under the surface of the Earth. Um, I've seen him here with the rods. When he finds water, the rods will cross. In this space, the rods get pulled straight down. And either he's a very good mime, or there actually is a force. He has to almost kind of shake to see the rods out. So anyway, we decided to call it a healing circle. We have some parents who do meditation circles here. Um, my daughter's class recently had a teddy bear uh, tea party. And uh, Rolo, our teddy bear, came home looking years younger. Um, <laughs> and, uh, some of our older students will come and have an uh, outdoor class here, uh, a little poetry writing or uh, sketching class. So it's a nice little area. We um, People often ask what the Green Pyramid is over there for. Um, we, we, we do lock this at night. We cover it. Um, yeah. You can see there are a few tips here. We Again, we don't have walls around the school. We have a very good security team, but some local uh, teenage boys, I'm sure they were teenage boys, because this is exactly what I would have done when I was that age, um, came in one night and had a hammer, a chisel, and they managed to chip off a little bit. So we do lock it at night. Hopefully the pyramid uh, allows for the, the energy to, to still flow.